Hello friends, this project is very important and this will certainly be very helpful for everybody who is driving a car, particularly in highways. So we have come up with an innovative solution towards tracking drivers who often uh, tend to go drowsy and 21% of the fatal uh, accidents are because of being drowsy and uh, people even say that um, being drowsy is much more dangerous than um, being uh, drunk. So that at least will have some level of uh, um, cautiousness or that, that at least will let you be alive. I think being drowsy kills more people than being drunk. So our solution is very simple. Our uh, solution really uh, gets you a complete analysis about if a driver is sleepy or not. And it is called as highway, uh, it's, it's called as highway hypnosis, hypnosis or it is called as white line fever. Uh, one would understand that, uh, one would understand the architecture when I explain it. It's actually a very simple architecture. I have used two things. One is the camera, another one is OBD. OBD is onboard diagnostics, which I uh, which I will explain shortly with uh, complete demo as in where I plug it, how I plug it, how to, how to get the data. Everything will be clearly explained. You can see the demo there. But before that, I also will tell you how do we and how do we use the camera. In this system, we are expected to mount the camera just above the steering, which is going to be very stable. We expect you to do that. And once it is done, our algorithm will run inside, which will predict EAR value. Uh, EAR is uh, nothing but eye aspect ratio, which will help you in understanding the eyes which means if it is going to be drowsy or not that's one of the parameters that we uh, definitely take in and that will help you to understand if the driver is about to be drowsy or driver is very active that's one of the very important parameters and the second one why we use obd is very simple the obd is onboard diagnostics which is going to give us multiple data but one of those very important data that i'm going to use is speed variation plus steering angle why speed variation for this project is to be explained if the driver is drowsy the speed will not be varied as frequently as he could vary it when he is very normal and active so it will go on a stable speed which means that the driver is drowsy it could also happen in a way that in a highway one person would want to always lock 150 kilometers per hour or 120 kilometers per hour so we connect it along with the facial reactions which we catch uh, through our camera so we uh, do an a and b which is nothing but a is your uh, ar b is nothing but your speed and the next point that we are going to take is uh, your uh, steering angle so if the person is sleepy definitely the steering uh, the person is going to be drowsy uh, certainly it is not going to uh, the steering is not going to move quite often as he could do when he is very very active so these two parameters in turn are collected and these two are sent to the server my obd will help me uh, by with the help of uh, a bluetooth transmission i take the data and i put it onto the server and the server will have all those data and then it is read through a json script and then it goes on to the python script and we analyze everything uh, through the python script whatever we are writing and data analytics has been done there as as usual as every iot application whatever we build as data analytics we build it uh, very strongly there and the receiver will now start alerting the receiver module actually analyzes it helps you in understanding if the driver is sleepy or not and it will rise an alert the alert can be given to anybody whom you wish because you have built a system very comprehensively it can also sprinkle water on the face of the a driver if you wish to do so this is the overall system now the next part of it you will see uh, the plotting that happens for the year value that will help you in understanding the system better thank you so the project is all about using this uh, elm 327 which is called as obd onboard diagnostics every car has got a slot uh, to fit this obd which can communicate to my mobile phone through an app so I got an app installed in my mobile and that communicates through the app and most importantly we have got lot of apps available in the market I have installed something called as OBD car doctor so OBD car doctor is the app that I have installed and there are so many apps available in the market really so you can take any one of those now how do you connect this OBD is the biggest deal that you need to really understand initially I had also some problem in identifying where exactly to plug it in because it is very very small and you will not even guess that there is a slot available like this and that is where I am going to connect it. Now the moment you connect it, you started feeding in the data to my app. Which means the OBD really uh, gets working and I can get that data live real time. So how do I get it sir? This is the app that I have got it. So I am going to search for the current data. So it may take half a minute because my machine is a bit slow. So uh, in that you can see engine rpm so many parameters engine cooler temperature so many are there so i'm going to just increase the rpm now and you can see the real time increase here so you can see that suddenly it has rise to 3554 and it's all real time and you can see that the spikes are also coming 
So not only this, we have used the steering angle data, we have used the speed, we have used the, uh, fuel efficiency data, everything is available there in the OBD and uh, you can see that uh, everything is possible. So the world is so small and this equipment is so small which can give you a lot of data for you to uh, really go ahead and uh, uh, do a lot of investigation. So this onboard diagnostics, many other tools are available. This is a minimum version of the onboard diagnostics tool that we are having. So we can buy the best one also which will give you more data. Uh, this is a minimal one and this car also gives you only minimal data. This is a small lower end car. So if you go for higher end car probably you will get all the data that you want and you can do a lot more innovation.